Alright, welcome back. We're actually playing Necrons today. That's right, my buddy Dale. Oh, we don't know if that's his real name or not. See, he's witness protection right now, so can't be in front of the camera for this for this portion of the thing. What we have right now is a bunch of Necron scenery. We got a little bit of the Imperial kind of stuff behind it. The Necrons dropped in, to, and they're, they, they mean business. We're playing Dawn of War Deployment, Annihilation Mission, and it's the Necrons versus the Black Templar. During deployment, the Necrons brought out two troop choices as well as an HQ choice. The Black Templar is going to be very difficult to see, so just trust me on this. has one troop choice deployed way back here. Check out all this very nice scenery. The mystery man who plays Necrons brought this all to the table for today. Let's bring the pain, people. Necrons versus Black Templars. Turn one. All right, we're at the conclusion of round one. As you can see, this is pretty much a get to know thy enemy round because really nothing happened. Nothing was harmed. The Black Templars brought all this up on the in the bottom of the of the round, but look at the nice spread that that the, that the Necron have. Pretty intimidating. So both sides fired a little bit here and there. Nothing hit. And now we're going into the top of round two with the Necrons going. Hopefully that'll be a little bit more entertaining from a uh, from a what actually got destroyed level. Dale's hands are not classified, so we're allowed to show them. <laughs> you used my name! <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, I, I don't mean that his name's Dale, it's Juan. <laughs> Look at these awesome paint jobs on this. Juan's army is very nicely painted, as you can see. Let's see if we can zoom out on some of these guys. Pretty sweet looking. Really like the paint that he has on his monoliths. And around two, very weird occurrence. The Black Templars were able to take out his heavy destroyers here. Uh, the Necrons fired. Um, they shook the Land Raider Crusader, but with Power of the Machine Spirit, it rolled forward. The um, Rhino back here was stunned, so effectively couldn't move. I dropped out all my guys, got them lined up to charge, moved my jump squad in to assault. I didn't fire on the Necrons very much because I was right on that edge of being six inches away. And this is what blows my mind. I only took out three of his guys, which he still gets a will be back roll, so they might just pop back up, and he killed one of mine. Black Templars, where are you? Where's your close combat ability when you need it, baby? You know what I'm saying here? So, why was the why was the Necron Lord here? Well, he tried to deep strike during his turn, and he had one guy basically fall underneath my Rhino. So I moved him away, but what I thought was going to be perfect assault range, and it was, but um, why didn't they die? We don't know. Um, so we're now at the top of round two. Get to remove the crew, stun and shake and dice off my uh, vehicles. And uh, the Necrons are going to march forward. Let's see how many come back from We'll Be Back. The result of We'll Be Back on this one? Oh yeah, every single one of the Necrons pop back up. So we got to remove this little assault ring here. And uh, over here, those two guys who died, yeah, they came back. There, did you see anyone knocked over? No. So... Uh, Juan is rolling really, really well <laughs> for his uh, will-be-back rolls, and I'm sure since his guy has Veil of Darkness, he'll disappear somehow. 